Loving Jesus, I adore you at the very start of this morning which you have given me. I love you and I praise you. I thank you for the graces that you gave me last night. I offer you my body, my soul, my talents, all my actions of this day, my sorrows and even my innermost thoughts through the immaculate heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary along with the merits of all my dear patron saints. Deign to bless all my good initiatives. Control all my actions. Immerse and preserve me in your precious blood. May no power on earth ever separate me from you. Grant me the grace to share your love with all those who come into contact with me today. May I have the grace to see everything as you want me to see. If it is your will that I should depart from this world today, May I be blessed to behold your sacred face. O oh, my good angel, throughout this day, lovingly and constantly protect me, who have been entrusted to you by God's mercy. Amen. Today's readings, the first reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened. and the ark of his covenant was seen within his temple and a great sign appeared in heaven a woman clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet and on her had a crown of 12 stars she was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains and the agony of giving birth and another sign appeared in heaven behold a great red dragon with seven heads and 10 horns and on his heads seven diadems his tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth so that when she bore her child he might devour it she gave birth to a male child one who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron but her child was caught up to god and to his throne and the woman fled into the wilderness and i heard a loud voice in heaven saying Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. From St. Luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 56. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into a hill country to a town in Judah and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the holy spirit and she exclaimed with a loud cry blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb and why is this granted to me that the mother of my lord should come to me for behold When the sound of your greeting came to my ears the baby in my womb leaped for joy and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the lord and mary said my soul magnifies the lord and my spirit rejoices in god my savior 
for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant and behold from now on all generations will call me blessed for he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name and his mercy is from those who fear him from generation to generation he has shown strength with his arm and he has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts he has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate he has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty he has helped his servant israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers to abraham and to his offspring forever and mary remained with her about 3 months and returned to her home god our loving father we thank you for this beautiful day you have given us another day to live to enjoy gifts of creation and to praise and thank you in return we also thank you for giving us the unique privilege of celebrating the twin feast of our motherland and our heavenly mother mary on this same day the 15th of august both the feasts are your reminder that we are born free and for freedom we celebrate today our motherland's independence from foreign domination and mary our mother's freedom from earthly domination it is you heavenly father that at the end of our life on earth you took the body and soul of mary our mother into heaven by this her body took a glorified form she was freed from normal process of change a body undergoes after death we celebrate this feast dear lord with the hope that one day this will be our fortune as well today our minds are full of the thought of freedom and independence we understand that freedom does not mean to do whatever one wants it does not mean indiscipline or indolence it does not mean that we are free to give free expression to our freedom to sin instead it proclaims loud and clear that there is a possibility of enjoying freedom from sin and the clutches of sinful habits free of sin we are able to love you loving lord and our neighbor as well we have to walk by the spirit we have to bear the fruits of the spirit and not go on gratifying the desires of the human nature together with mary our mother we would like to sing this hymn of thanksgiving today a hymn of freedom and joy my soul magnifies the lord and my spirit rejoices in god my savior the almighty has done great things for me holy is his name and may the blessing of almighty god through the intercession of mary assumed into heaven descend upon you and remain with you forever in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit
Yeah. 